Hey, this is Samuel from BibleshopQuest.com and um, today I'm at a review River Park in Trenton, New Jersey and um, you know, I'm making a video about leasing versus owning real estate for your business um, our barber shops alone uh, as I focus on, on this channel I'm very excited to be back I know it's been a while um, you know a couple of new things I, I got a new camera um, you know which I'm very, very excited about um, I also you know got some new some some different new things coming up you know so I'm very, very excited um, you know going forward in future it's been um, it's spring now you know it's been a long time the last time I showed up the video was in winter time you know but it's been a lot going on with me in general um, you know doing a lot of um, studies and a lot of research and stuff like that so I could have new um, informative um, content for my for my channel and for you guys and um, you know I really appreciate you guys a lot um, also shout out to Joe Pro Blow you know Joe Pro Blow I know you watch all my videos you did um, suggest this video so um, shout out to you for suggesting this video and um, also look out for the other video about how to make passive income from barbershops you know so I'm gonna make a video um, as well on that um, topic but right now I'm gonna talk about owning versus leasing um, a space for your business of a barbershop you know I'll use the barbershop uh, as an example it also goes to you if you have a salon it applies perfectly to you as well um, so what are the pros and cons between owning and leasing a barbershop? If you are confused, you ask yourself um, which is the right way to go. Um, I would say right off the top of the right of the back, owning the barbershop um, is the best way to go about it. But um, usually we do not have a lot of money to own a space. You know, we're talking about a space for like a thousand square feet of space. We'll go anywhere around a hundred thousand US dollars for that space you know if you are buying that space you know and um, usually a lot of business owners like myself or maybe you do not have that amount you know a few people already have money they established they could go and buy that space and own that space but um, if that's not you um, then your second option will be to to lease you know the space to lease you know the space um, or there's an option to buy the space and mortgage it you know uh, most people that have a little bit more money tend to go and mortgage it you know meaning that they'll get the space um, let's say the the, um, the realtors um, are selling the space for like a hundred thousand um, so in that case if you have a good a decent amount of credit um, you go to the bank and then you get a loan uh, the loan is known as the mortgage and um, the, but the bank will give you a loan for 100,000 plus interest and then the bank is gonna pay the house off and then you pay the bank off you know you pay the principal which is 100,000 plus the interest and then that way you could get a space that way um, you know, then, then finally you lease the space you lease or rent the space which is what I did uh, which is where most people usually will start off from um, in terms of owning the, the barbershop because a lot of times you don't have um, you know you don't want to buy the space or mortgage the space you know so it's more cost effective um, to lease or rent the space you know so I'll go over it all um, generally if you want to own the space um, what would make sense financially is if you are gonna be in that space for at least seven to ten years you know within that space of time if you buy the space then you save more money um, so it's not a fun so let me give you a typical example because uh, recently I, I bought a car right I bought um, a brand new car I did not buy it out of my pocket I wish I did but um, I, I did a lot of research on the type of car to buy you know so I wanted a car that is was um, you know I didn't have to that was very cost you know first of all it's, it's very um, cost effective for my budget you know so this car was around um, this car was like twelve thousand dollars and it was um, a brand new Nissan 2000, uh, 15, 2015 Nissan Versa and it was like twelve thousand dollars you know so um, I don't know I don't have enough money to buy it out of 
out of my pocket. You know, that would have been a great deal because then I wouldn't have to go to the bank um, to um, finance the car. So financing is also like a term, just like mortgaging the space. So financing, you get a loan from the bank, the bank pays for the car, and then you pay the interest of. So I'll be paying up the twelve thousand plus the interest um, interest rate that the bank gives me. You know, so so the bank rate, as you mean, they gave me. Um, let's say 10 percent interest to buy this car uh, meaning that over the course of say six years i'll be paying let's say an extra four thousand um extra four thousand three thousand back just on interest so in, in total i'll be paying off um um say say twelve thousand plus three <laughs> which is like fifteen thousand to sixteen thousand by the time i have paid off the car but the car actually cost twelve thousand so this is a perfect example to give you an idea of um, in terms of um, mortgaging a, a space or buying a space through the bank you know so in that way it's like you you pay more but it makes sense so like say back to the hundred thousand space thousand square feet this is um the kind of space that most people would use for a barber shop or a salon um, so let's say for a hundred thousand for that space You'll be paying interest um, to the bank, you know, to the mortgage, and then the interest, um, the hundred thousand, you'll be paying at least thirty thousand uh, worth of interest um, in the course of the um, the time I have to pay off the mortgage. So let's say it's in about seven years, you'll be paying thirty thousand dollars more just for mortgaging the space, you know, and that's an interest, you know, so. That's to the mortgage. You know, um, if you want to lease the space, um, and uh, okay, so let's come back to like buying the space. So if you buy, if you have bought it off, then you don't have to pay that interest. So that thirty thousand of interest that you're paying off eventually, you could have used it to market your um, your, your business. You could have used it to invest and grow the business, um, or to even start a new business. You know, so that's that's the cost-effective way. You know, but a lot of times most people don't have. Um, most entrepreneurs don't have money in order to go to just buy a space you know? and usually they go through you have to go and loan money or get money from somewhere and then you wind up in the second category which is like uh, mortgaging or financing a space um, excuse me so that's it um, so right on the back you did that now the, the third uh, way is to that we usually do is to um, most entrepreneurs go by uh, shop owners is to lease or rent the space. So if you're leasing or renting the space, you even gonna pay more. You know, um, surely I'm gonna go over the time frame that it makes sense um, to lease or rent the space. Because if you are gonna um, lease or rent the space for a short period of time, let's say two or three years, it makes sense to lease the space. Then you could free out all this extra money to um, do other things like promoting, marketing, um, investing into your business, you know, if you're going to lease a space for three or four years, at least three or four years maximum, um, you know, to lease the space. But if you're going to mortgage, if you, if you find a good spot where you're going to stay for a long time, let's say seven to ten years, uh, like a nice location, nice parking, decent area, nice um, traffic um, for your business, uh, it's a perfect location, you know, it's like a, a great perfect location then I highly suggest you could, you go and mortgage or finance the space. You're going to pay a little bit more interest in the long run, but uh, for the next 7, 15 years that the business is going to be there, it's going to be more cost effective. You know, meaning you're going to have more back, you know, you're going to have, you know, money back in your pocket. Or you're not going to spend a lot of money, that's what I mean. Um, but in terms of leasing or renting the space, which I, which I did, you know, um, and which most people are doing, it's like for the next three or four years, that's that's the best way to go. Um, and so you put in, you pay, you put in a down payment um, towards the, the leasing. I think the first and the last month um, rent. So if it's a if it's a thousand for the rent, you pay two thousand down, and each month you pay a thousand a thousand dollars. You know, so like I said, for the next three to four years, that would be the best option is to lease or to rent. And then that way you could. Um, Use whatever money you have to grow the business quickly, so you could, um, you know, um, find a space and then um, 
that you know you really like if you want to move the business or if you don't want to move the business sometimes you could negotiate with the landlord or the, um, the relatives and they could sell the space to you so you could then mortgage it based on the money that you grew the, the money that you, you set aside just to grow the business quickly and then you could buy the business and then you could save you a lot of money you could save you thirty thousand forty thousand down the line you know so to summarize it all i know i started throwing a lot of numbers and um you know giving you um the scenarios but to summarize it all this is what you have to know this is what you have to um do right um generally if you're going to be in a space for um one to three to four years the best and you're not sure the space whether you're going to stay there for the next three years or four years or five years you're not sure of the business you're starting out new the best bet is to lease or rent the space right and then whatever money you have left you invest and use to grow and promote the business quickly so you could save enough money to find you a better space a new space that time you are more seasoned business entrepreneur and then you could um you know get a new space mortgage it and then um you know you go from there um if you find a space and you feel like you could stay in that space you are seasoned in your um, in your craft as an entrepreneur or what you do and you feel like this is the space right this is the golden spot um i'm gonna be i, I feel like i'm gonna be here for the next seven years 15 years then you know make sure you have a good credit um go to the bank or the finance system and buy the house you know mortgage the house i mean sorry mortgage the space um for that period you're gonna save twenty forty thousand dollars in the long run if you go that way right and then finally if you have cash right meaning you're a master entrepreneur almost you know um or business person all you have already is cash saved you know i always like cash and i always say cash is king if you could have cash you buy stuff buy cash you know you always save in the long run you don't have to pay anybody interest you don't have to worry about anything you buy buy cash you know if you have if you have cash like that right and you could buy a space you know straight out the back buy you know buy the space and you don't have to worry about interest rate really, all the time you don't have to worry about you know extra fees and you're going to save you 70 70 thousand 60 thousand long all right so real quick uh, so this is Sam from barbershopquest.com uh, make sure you subscribe below uh, leave a comment like share and um, until next time